am I the astronaut for eating before my date arrived at the restaurant? <laughs> uh, typically frowned upon. So for context, I'm not a foodie. I eat to get full and not as an experience. I'll often eat at home before dinner outings just because I don't want to wait and rather enjoy the experience of the outing, which for me doesn't involve the eating portion. I met this girl online and we agreed to meet at a restaurant for dinner to get to know each other a little bit better. Fast forward to the day of our date, we agreed to meet at 9 p.m. Now my day was super busy with work and I didn't get to eat lunch and it was almost 8 p.m. and I was starving so I got ready and headed to the date still having no food. I like getting to a date early so I can check out the environment, pick the best seats and just prepare in general so I arrived about 45 minutes early this time. That's way early. Still starving, I decided I should eat to get that out of the way or I'd be hungry and cranky having to wait another hour or so before I can eat. I finished my meal and ordered a cocktail. By this point, my date is almost arriving. She gets to the restaurant and we instantly click. She's smiling and we're having a great conversation. She's touching my hand. It's overall going extremely well. Eventually, she asked if I would like to order some food, to which I responded, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. She insisted, saying that she didn't want to eat alone, but I told her not to worry and eat and that I was just enjoying my cocktail. So we call the waiter over and she starts asking him for recommendations to which he responds with no ill intentions that it seemed I really enjoyed the tacos, so maybe she should try them. At this point, she was confused and asked what that meant, so I told her I had eaten some tacos before she arrived. She immediately becomes furious, saying that I'm rude and who eats before a date has even arrived. I explained to her that my goal was to get to know her and the eating portion wasn't important. Regardless, the whole mood changed. She ordered some food, ate, and made an excuse to have to leave. I haven't heard from her since, and that was last night. Am I the astronaut? Uh, yeah, it is rude. Here, okay, I understand. I understand what you think you're accomplishing here, OP, but because... Because it doesn't, you don't place value on the food portion of it, but you have to understand that people are, you know what, you know, when you take your dog out into the, into the yard to the poop, to do the poop, to do the poop. And, and they give you this look, like it's almost a look of shame, but they give you this look because they're making eye contact with you because they feel they're most vulnerable right then. Right. They're like, Hey person, do you have my back? Because I can't do nothing about shit right now. When people are eating, they feel that way too. They feel vulnerable. They feel awkward if you guys aren't both in that awkward state then it's more uncomfortable for one person so you made it more uncomfortable for your date there's a reason that at events like we don't take photos of people while they're eating it's because that's when people feel super vulnerable nobody wants a camera in their face while they're eating nobody wants to be the only one eating on a date that's weird it would make her feel much more uncomfortable and to to find out that you ate at the restaurant before right before she got there makes it even more awkward because you couldn't wait five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever for her. That makes it more awkward for her. And you didn't care about that. That's the perception here. I'm not saying that's the way it was. It wasn't your intention. It was your intention to get it out of the way so that you could focus on having a good time there. But in doing so, you made your date meal feel more awkward as well. Freaking keep a power bar or something in your car that you can munch on on the way to wherever you're going. That way you get your hangry side out of the way and then you can do something that's not disrespectful. She didn't take it well. Now, you know, that's not an okay thing to do. And you can move on and, and have learned and grown from that. There, there are a couple of other things in this story that uh, this is a unique individual, right? Potentially neurodivergent. They have, they have their, their own isms, like wanting to show up 45 minutes early to be able to scope out the place, get the best seats and just feel comfortable there first could be a neurodivergent thing. And and wanting to eat before people get there could be a neurodivergent thing too. This could be individual things, but knowing that in a dating environment, it makes the other party feel more uncomfortable is something you have to take note of because it's going to happen again. This is going to come up again, right? So just take note of it. An appetizer would have been probably would have been more acceptable if your date shows up and you've got a half eaten appetizer there or something that probably would have been more acceptable than than eating an entire meal and just sitting there with a the cocktail afterwards and being like, no, I'm just going to watch you eat and talk because I want to watch you eat. That's watching people eat is one of my fun things to do. Also, how a person eats says a lot about who they are. So I want to watch you eat and determine if you're if you're good uh, spouse material or not. That's probably what the date felt like, you know, if we had gone on a date, Candy Thunder and uh, and I had been like, nah, I'm not going to eat. I'm just going to watch you eat. What would you have done? <laughs> she said she said I would have ate. <laughs> OK, there's a good point. She said when I was 20, it would yeah. have been it would be different when I was 20. Wait, I'm using wait, the wait, microphone. What? What is is that Candy Thunder's voice coming from 
Like in my headphones? When I was 16 to like 22, I would have been uncomfortable. But then I decided I'm hungry and I'm going to eat when I want. And I ate popcorn chicken when you brought it home in like 30 seconds. I didn't hesitate and I didn't shake. Today? Yeah. <laughs> so I would have ate. Uh, also, I recommend always having a stash of Belvita bars on hand. Belvita bars, power bar, whatever. Have something on hand so that you don't have to don't have to put yourself in that kind of situation. Or like Real. stop at a gas station or swing through a drive through and get a little snack or something like a little snacky poo. We don't know OP's age uh, and maybe that has we don't know OP's age or, or the, his date's age. And maybe that does have something to do with it. Maybe, you know, in, in your earlier twenties or before you got to that point where you just stopped giving a shit about what other people thought in that scenario, it did matter more. So, you know, maybe it's an age thing. Candy thunder is my, my two conscience sides are candy thunder and Tony's park. It just depends on what they're trying to get me to do. 